You guys never fail to amaze me with the sheer ridiculousness of the comments that you post on my channel. From the angry vegans to the comedians that I think make a living posting comments on my channel, let's get started with divine consciousness. I saw a vegan comment today. If you drink bone broth, I hope your family will die of cancer. And to me, this isn't something that's too funny, but it really puts into context how angry and hateful some of these vegans can be. What people don't get is that these vegans are serious when they post these hateful messages. They feel so strongly about their moral standing on animal products, they're willing to go online and th -th 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 -th. Like, what are you going to do? Halal Jabal. It's the vegan diet that makes them so hateful. They are mentally ill. They do not mean it, Frank. You are a beautiful, powerful, strong woman. Smiley face. <laughs> I think this is a little funny, just the, the insinuation that I'm very, very feminine. Uh, coupled with Rob Sagjunovic, I think the only vegetable you put in your body is the cucumbers you shove up your ass. And, you know, judging by my fairy boar, Peter Pan, Aladdin appearance, and that I'm on a carnivore diet, uh, you know, I'm, I'm inclined to side with Rob here and say this is a, a credible joke. Alan Cooney, keep squirting oil on your chest and you might get some gay vegans to convert. So, for any of you guys who are unfamiliar, I squirt vitamin D3 oil on my chest because uh, I use it transdermally. And for those of you guys that haven't seen it, uh, it's just a now vitamin D3 supplement. I just usually just lift my shirt up and I put, you know, a couple drops, usually 15 to 20 per day on my stomach. And you know how the fairy boys love seeing me lift up my shirt. Uh, what would the fairy boys think if they knew that I also rub vitamin D3 on, you know, Frankie's ball grease? So if you guys haven't seen my testosterone video, definitely check that out a couple days ago where I grew a beard overnight. Silence. Don't stand too close. Frank might smack you. And I used to wait tables at this steakhouse and my managers would always get really nervous because I would be like above the table where there's all these wine glasses and martini glasses on the table. And I would be like moving my hands like crazy over the table. I, I mean, I never knocked something over on a table, but uh, Akira Kurosawa, we got a professional here. This gentleman has three comments that made it into this video. You are a gorgeous woman with two beautiful caterpillars above your eyes. Don't let those nasty vegan comments get to you. You know, I, I'm like thinking, where do you guys live that I am feminine, or at least more feminine than the woman you're surrounded by? Are you like in the middle of the jungle with a bunch of gorillas and chimpanzees? I feel sorry for some of you guys. I really, really do. Like, especially considering the amount of ladies that post on my videos. Oh, what, what is the saying? Oh, my ovaries just, I just ovulated. I get that like, <laughs> oh, sorry guys. I just, I, I, li I literally went on my Instagram this morning. Let me find it on my Instagram. I'll show, I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys the picture on my Instagram. <laughs> Lesbian123 says, every time you post a video, my ovaries replenish. You know, some of you guys might think this is a good thing, but I'm inclined to believe that the name Lesbian means she's a lesbian and that she's into girly looking guys. So I guess, I guess this doesn't really promote my case too much, does it? Okay. Akira Kurosawa also says, Dr. Frank Tofano, PhD in cosmetology. It sounds so right. You know, my mother used to tell me I should go to cosmetology school to cut hair and do that stuff. But you guys know I can't even draw a straight line on a chalkboard. And my mom thinks I can be like one of those. I mean, gay guys are known for being incredibly good and artistic at cutting hair. Guys. I don't have it. I can't put on makeup. I can't do hair. I don't know why you guys obsess over this stuff. He also adds, can we add the Adam's apple test to the list of tests you should perform at the start of the video? Uh, I usually do a makeup check where I wipe my face to show you guys I'm not wearing makeup and stuff. But uh, I guess we could do the Adam's apple test too, right? Not that I have a big one. Salim Brim says, on the vegan diet, you really don't know if you can process surface level information, let alone analyze it. On my raw blood and testicles diet, I feel like I can fuck a vegan man in the mouth and make him pregnant. Salim, my man, you can do whatever you like in your spare time, but whatever compels you to post this on my video, thank you for the chuckle. Fabulous Dolphin. Teeth loss is just detoxing from calcium, man. <laughs> just the ridiculousness of the word detox to me. It's going to become a meme. If it hasn't already, uh, I, I think it is a meme. D-E-T. 
T-O-X, boys. First son of man. So, after your jaw surgery, can you suck the biggest dicks now? <laughs> Love you. Uh, you guys are uh, you guys are too much, man. That was on my jaw surgery video. Oh man, <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with you guys. Okay, so this comment by Sedition Theory is actually about another person's comment, Cindy Wallace, who's a vegan, and this is emphasizing the sheer ridiculousness of a vegan thought process. Unaddressed trauma from childhood or other stages of life are the main cause of health problems. As long as the trauma is in the body, the physical symptoms will not go. Eating a lot of fiber will obviously exacerbate that because emotions are held in the gut. This is why we have to ease into it slowly and address and heal our past. As long as we are carrying around pain and guilt consciously and unconsciously, no diet will really and truly work 100%. When I first went vegan, I suffered a lot with stomach pains and bad digestion, and I wasn't fully aware of how my childhood neglect and emotional abuse had deeply affected my body. Going vegan just brings your issues to the surface. That is how powerful plants really are. I'm sorry for the voice, guys. I can't read that nonsense and, and not have to focus on something else. But <laughs> this is complete. Like, I can't believe that this person's not trolling. Emotions are stored in the gut and fiber releases um, oh my god i can't i can't i can't someone help me okay says you shouldn't stroke a vegan's hair because they're already losing so much of it uh, i think i made a joke or like an analogy in my video saying that i wanted to stroke a vegan's hair and feed them grapes or like something along those lines uh, so that's what he said in response to that <laughs> and, and this next one was terrible on um i did a video on mona me frost and how her kid was missing her front teeth and villain VC says oh no how is she gonna chew on long clipping <laughs> uh, th there's another one related to that uh, Jeanette Lewis who needs teeth when you drink all of your calories and uh, yeah vegans do use quite a few shakes uh, raising darkness said please turn me I always thought it was cool to be a vampire uh, on my Bonnie Rebecca video, I got quite a few comments about how I look like a vampire, especially when I don't tan and I slick my hair back. Uh, I got a really funny story. I w was walking down to work on the Lower East Side at this bar. Um, this was a couple years ago. And I was like in a rush. I'm wearing my tuxedo. I had my hair slicked back. And I hear from across the street uh, some, like, some girl trotting in heels and she stops. And I look at her and she yells, Oh my God, are you a vampire? And I was like, oh my God, I don't have time for this today. I was late to work. I, I mean, in hindsight, I thought it was really funny. But what tied that story together was this guy yelled across the street. Yo, she wants to suck your balls, bro. It wasn't like... And then uh, we have this gentleman was kind enough to send a personal message on my website. Hi, Frank. I need advice on how to look like a scrawny tranny with permanent makeup. Any advice? I came to you because you seem to be an expert on the subject. Enjoy eating balls for the rest of your life. Gary. <laughs> the only reason I thought this was funny was because of the, Hi Frank, he like structured the message and then he said, Gary. <laughs> um, these two were actually from Vegan Gains' channel. Uh, Dean C said, He looks like a melting waxwork and I've gotten that a couple of times. Uh, lifting carbs daily. My favorite makeup YouTuber. Uh, what's hysterical to me is when I did that parody video, when I put makeup on, some of my friends were telling me they actually saw that video with the other makeup artists on YouTube. So who knows, boys, maybe I'll, uh, I'll be dishing the carnivore material sometime soon. And guys, I saved the best for last. I thought this was hysterical. So uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Bart K is another carnivore dieter. And here we have <laughs> Bart K, senior clown lecturer. Hi, Frank. Would you consider coming to study at my clown college? I could teach you juggling. <laughs> I can't believe this guy made a YouTube account and photoshopped a picture of his face. Holy shit, this is so hysterical. I couldn't get over that, guys, but thank you guys so much for doing this kind of stuff on my channel. It really brightens up my day. It really gives me a laugh. Uh, if you guys see any funny comments that you guys would want me to feature in a video like this, let me know. Um, but outside of that, uh, if you guys would like to support the channel, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and share it if you can. Today I was actually on Mark Bell's Power Hour. So go down in the comments and look at all the links for that podcast. Uh, definitely some interesting stuff to touch on. 
step closer to uh, some bigger and brighter things, boys. Uh, outside of that, my Amazon shop is also down there. You can check out uh, my vitamin D3, aka uh, soon to be Frankie's Ball Grease. We just got to put a new label on it. Uh, I do have some hygiene products on there as well for my lip balm, deodorant, and tooth powder. Uh, if you guys are interested in like the fluoride free stuff, check that out on my website, frank-tofano.com. Uh, you can also contact me there for one-on-one -on -one consultations in regards to improving your overall health through diet, sun, exercise, water, as well as sleep. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week.